Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. If you are new around here, my name is Michael and I officially have a one-year-old. I no longer have a sweet little baby and I could literally cry just thinking about it. My daughter, Lucy, just turned one on June 4th this year. We had a beautiful little party to celebrate her birthday with all of our friends and family. It was super fun and oh, I'm so nervous. Today, I'm going to be reacting to my birth vlog. So a year ago, when I had Lulu, when I went to labor, I started vlogging it. I knew it was something that I wanted to keep and have and be able to look back on and watch and show her one day. So I vlogged the entire experience, as much of it as I could. And once I edited it and uploaded it, I did not watch it after that. I wanted to have like a really raw experience of seeing the video again. So I uploaded that video on June 11th of 2021, which was actually her due date. Uh, she came a week early and I have not seen it since. I have watched the clip of her coming out since she was born, but I have not watched like my labor or after she was born. I have not watched any of that footage. So I'm really excited to watch it today. So we're going to, I'm gonna pull it up on my phone. We're gonna watch it together. We're gonna react to it. This is basically how I got majority of my friends on the internet and my following. And I'm really, really grateful for this video. It has done like just amazing amazing things for me. So, <sighs> okay, let's go. It hit a million views and I like freaked out. It was crazy. Okay, here it is. It's 22 minutes long. I'm gonna put my AirPod in and I'm gonna watch it. I'm so nervous. Okay. Also, Lucy is sleeping. So hopefully she doesn't wake up in the next 20 minutes while I'm watching this. Anyways, okay. Oh, there's an ad. Beautiful. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm so nervous. I'm so excited. Okay. There's another ad. You're literally kidding me. Okay. Hello. Okay. Oh my God. I'm having, I'm having contractions. This was crazy. My water had like just broken. So what's going on? My mom filming. Everybody wanted to know why I was cur curling my hair. Okay, I should have put this disclaimer disclaimer at the beginning. Um, Lucy's dad is in this video, and I'm not going to take him out of this video. It was a very big day for him, so uh, let's just everybody be respectful um, and considerate and kind. Please and thank you. Okay, continuing. It's June 4th. I don't even know. Yeah, it's June 4th. And um, I am having contractions, so we're heading to the hospital. I will update you guys more when we get there. There's. I called my best friend uh, right after I filmed this saying, like, I think I'm going to the hospital. And I FaceTimed her. And as soon as I FaceTimed her, because it was like one o'clock in the morning, she was like, you're lying. You're lying. Where are you going right now? You're lying. And I was like, I'm on the way to the hospital right now. Like, this is crazy. And I, oh, I just remember that like <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Going in. Yes. So we had to get Sonic. <laughs> I miss it. I miss it so bad. Give a little message. <laughs> and I'm happy to know. Yeah, I was. I was in pain. But it was good pain. It was really good pain. I have a shake so bad. <laughs> it's I remember filming this. 315. We've been at the hospital. I remember having to take so many takes of this because I couldn't speak. <laughs> Get through it, babe. You got it. Come on. I really wanted to leave all of this in here to like show what it's like. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like super raw. That's a hospital round two. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting a little bit tofu for you. I remember Lucy's dad came in while I was like trying to film that and he was like, who are you talking to? And I was like, I'm trying to vlog and update them. And he was like, oh my God, like just can you get through your contractions please? 
he threw the bags in the car and got to the hospital at like two like i said um now it's 3 15 when i got here at two they checked me hold on have another one <laughs> i was like this is about to start again i can tell when I got so i'm currently on the toilet i threw up she checked me and i sat back up and threw up um i had my IV on they've got my antibiotics going yes i was um strep b positive so i had to get antibiotics like as soon as i got there because i was like going into labor so quickly and it was so annoying i just remember it felt so cold in my veins and i just wanted to like rip it out it was uh -huh. so annoying yeah i'm also like very shaky <laughs> um, i would say pain contractions are at like a mm, like a seven I think when they started, they were at like a four. I would equate, and I still tell people this to this day, I would equate like whatever centimeter I was at to the pain level that I was at. So if I was at a six centimeters, I felt like it was like a six on the pain scale. That's so crazy. And there's an ad. Okay. This was transition. That feels good. I was getting into Ooh. transition for sure in this clip. I was in the thick of it. <laughs> this was hell a little bit. Transition sucks. It's hard. Hey cuties. <laughs> hey cuties. We're doing it. I'm on the break ball right now. I feel like I'm about to have another one. My voice. Oh my god. I remember during this, I was, like, my body started pushing. Like, the contraction was so strong that my body was, like, starting to push on its own. And right after this, the nurse came in and was like, yeah, you're ready. That's so crazy. She's probably about to come back in, right? And check me again. It's so funny. Like you can tell when the contraction starts and stops because you just like go back to talking. My back is in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Really wide and my hips open it is helpful when I think about it. Have another one. Okay. My voice. I feel so sad. <gasps> Here it is. Hold on, Lucy's monitor's about to die. Sorry, I had to plug it in, otherwise it was gonna keep beeping. <laughs> okay, here we go. Push, baby, big push. Push, push, baby. Oh, here she comes. You're doing. Can I just say, first of all, my mother is a saint. I love her so much. She's so cute in the background. But this little fucking blur was so annoying to edit, and I just remember I was like so tired from like having a newborn, and I just like didn't care. At the end, I was just like whatever. So it is probably gonna piss me off the way that it's edited, but I just remember not caring. Good. You're doing good. This is so crazy. My doctor. Pushing is the best part of labor. I will just tell you that right now. Not the free feet, y'all. No. No, girl. I should have blurred them. <laughs> my doctor was great. I love joking with him. Oh my god, I remember in that little clip right there, you can literally see me looking up because I'm like hearing shit clanking and there was like scissors and needles and all this stuff and I was just like, ain't none of that shit going near me. <sighs> Scary. I can't believe I was so exposed with so many people in the room. Like, I was only pushing for like it, 10 minutes, not even. I remember being so embarrassed because I knew, I knew that I was supposed to be making these really low, like, mm, 
some sounds to like push her out and it just got to the point where like even though I knew that I was supposed to be doing that I was just like yelling and there's a point in here I don't know if he already said it or if he's about to but he's like hey stop yelling like that's not helping anyone and I was like I know that I know that in my brain and I felt so embarrassed because I was like oh, I know I just forgot for a second I know it's hard to keep all that in all that yeah, that's what he just said. I was like, I know. Keep going. There she is. Lucy girl. Lucy girl. Lucy girl. <laughs> So good, honey bun. <laughs> She's perfect. Look at her hair. She looks just like Mama did. Oh, my little baby. Hi, baby. My sweet baby. Okay, sweet love. <laughs> oh, and then there's an ad. Make that coin, I guess, girl. I don't know if I put the clip in of like cutting the cord, but. What's her name? Lucy. Lucy. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, it's right here. You can literally see like the shit on my arm. <laughs> Hi guys, it's currently 6 a.m. I have a child. I will show you her in just a second. She's like trying to eat barely. Um, okay, yeah. Sorry, we had to switch sides. So at 4 o'clock, I was dilated to an 8 by 8 by 4.30. I like can't, I can't need talk. I need to push. The nurse slyly said to the other nurse, she's like, yeah, I think you're definitely gonna catch this baby. We so all thought like, that. okay. <laughs> she ate at like 9 o'clock. For like 20 minutes and then she just ate at like 11 30 for like 20 minutes she's doing so good she's just sleeping how did i have so much energy like you just had a baby like five hours ago like chill you know she's had a busy morning i am so overwhelmed with text messages and things peeing isn't too too bad it stings a little bit but i just use my peri bottle and it's fine i don't know if i told you guys i told it hurts worse I think as the days go on, it hurts worse until it gets better. It gets better before it gets worse, as they say. For a little bit, got a couple stitches, couldn't feel it at all. And he said that they're like not a big deal. So I apologize for this video being all over the place, but at the same time I don't. It's like I just had a kid, so sorry about it. Oh, oh. her first bath. <laughs> The nurse who did it was so I'm sweet. I loved her. In bed. I'll update you tomorrow. Say goodnight. The music. <laughs> we listened to opera and Spanish music all night. We had a long night. I'll update you guys in a minute. The first night was hard. <laughs> okay, hi guys. I'm gonna update you <sighs> really quick. So last night, my best friend Anna came and snuck into the hospital. She literally snuck in. I was only allowed to have my significant other and one other person, which was my mom. And my best friend was like, just walked into the hospital and they were like, where are you going? And she was like, that room. And they were like, okay. And she just walked in and I was like, you're lying. It was crazy. <laughs> She was so red. We are getting ready to go home this morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to get us out of here. I'm trying to get us out of here. I do not want to be here any longer. So, no, I hated it. Our teeth brush. Guys, we got our bags in the car. We got our car seat ready to go. I just got a okayed to go home. Are you ready to go home? She was so little. Are you ready to go? 
right. My coffee. Important. Why are you looking cross-eyed? <laughs> I think this is the We're end of the video. We're in the car. Are you being ready? I'm so excited to get home. Yes, and that was all I recorded because then I was like, done. I don't even know what to say. I kind of thought I was gonna cry, but I'm glad that I didn't because I have other videos that I need to film today. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was my birth. That was so crazy. I loved it. I had a really, really great experience. Um, I don't really read the comments on that video very often uh, because they are so mixed. I get a lot of people um, being really happy and really like grateful that I posted that video um, and saying that it's helped them or you know, this, that, and the other. I, but I also get a lot of hate comments about like, why did you give birth in a hospital? Why did you have a male doctor? Yada, yada, yada. I loved my doctor. I loved my birth. Majority of it went how I wanted. I did it all unmedicated and that was really my biggest goal. And I'm really proud of myself that I did that. And I'm really excited to do that again. I will say that like, next time I probably won't give birth in a hospital and that's totally fine. I just didn't like, I just don't, I did that experience once, I don't want to do it again. And next time I want to be able to do it in the comfort of my own home. And not everybody's like that, I totally understand, but that's how I feel. And I'm very excited to do it again one day. I can't wait to do it again one day and to be able to share it with you guys again. Um, thank you for supporting me so much. Like it really means the world. I couldn't do it without you guys. I wouldn't be here without you guys. I really love and appreciate you. So thank you so much. I give you all hugs and kisses. Love you. Happy Pride Month. Mm, mm, mm.